today. I participated in a debate with uh, Dr. Finelli about whether or not you need to do a biopsy for a patient with a small renal mass. You know, the argument from my perspective against doing routine biopsies of small renal masses is that we already know, just based on a tremendous amount of data, that the majority of small renal masses are either going to be benign or very indolent varieties of renal cell carcinoma. We know from the data on active surveillance that a good chunk of these tumors will not grow over time, perhaps as many as one-third will not grow. If they don't grow, they're completely harmless. There's never been a report of a bad outcome for a tumor that didn't grow. And if they do grow, they tend to grow slowly, two to three millimeters per year. We know from that data that tumors that grow that are treated in delayed fashion do just as well as if you treated them initially. And we know that very rarely you'll find a tumor that grows quickly and that tumor needs relatively urgent intervention because there's a possibility given an extended period of time that it'll grow fast enough and potentially metastasize. So the basic argument from my perspective against biopsy as an initial step is that we can determine from what happens to the tumor whether or not anything needs to be done or perhaps nothing. And you can avoid biopsy at least in a third of patients, if not many more, and you could use the biopsy selectively later on in the treatment algorithm.